Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the law and you can call me legal. So today we're back with another opinion video and this time it is about the Landris eye ban. And if you guys are not familiar with Smogon, I suggest you look it up. <laughs> Just Google Smogon and it will be the first page and you can read about it there. So anyways, as I said, this is an opinion video. So if you have any other opinions or don't agree with mine, Make sure you leave them in the comment section below and I will gladly read them. So let's just hop into the video. First of all, let's talk about Lander's Eye for a second. You can see a set here with Rock Polish, Rock Slide, Earth Power, Hidden Power Eyes. And there will be more sets uh, coming later on in this video. But basically this guy is running a... It is a Sheer Force, a Sheer Force Pokemon and it has such a diverse move pool. It gets as access to Sludge Wave, Psychic, as you can see in the screen, Earth Power. You can run him physical special, but basically you're only going to run him special because that is that is where he does most work. So, anyways, the Landris ban was uh, made because this Pokemon is so powerful with its Sheer Force ability. There is no Pokemon that can switch in on it. You basically have to make a sack. This is one of the best revenge killers, if not the best in OU. Although now it is uh, now it is gone up to ubers because you know it's been banned from OU so and I here's my opinion I drum roll doo -doo 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 -doo, I definitely agree I definitely agree because as I said this Pokemon has got zero switch ins like there is only there's only one thing that get that can switch in on this on this thing and uh, without getting to it KO'd and that is Megaladias and when was the last time you saw a Mega Megaladius? Let's be real. Megaladius isn't the best Pokemon, although it does check this one. But I definitely agree with this ban because, like, this is the best revenge killer ever. It has got such a diverse move pool. Like, you have to make some big plays to be able to to be able to play around this Pokemon. Let's say you have a, a Thunder's Eye on your team, and you have Hidden Power Ice on it, and that is basically the only way to take him out. And Let's let's figure let's let's uh, figure out the scenario. You have you have killed something with your choice choice banded Azumaru, and you know that this thing is going to outspeed. It is running Sludge Wave, so you're just gonna get KO'd. Now then you're gonna have to switch into like a Steel type to be able to take the Sludge Wave, because even though it's resisted with some mons, it just gets like. For example, it's resisted by Garchomp, but Garchomp dies to hit a power ice, so there's no point in switching that in. So you have to make a like a pivot, like you have to go out into, let's say you have a Heatran. So you switch out into Heatran to take the Sludge Wave, but then you realize it's got Earth Power, so I'm going to have to make another switch. So in that way you can actually switch into your Thunderous Eye as you wanted, but as I said, you have to make some big plays to even be able to handle this Pokemon. And I def that is why I definitely agree with this uh, with this ban. Don't get me wrong, guys. There are multiple ways to stop this. Like, um, yeah, mom's mama's wine and um, uh, wee while. Yeah, definitely good counters. <laughs> For real, mama's wine doesn't switch in on this monster. I don't care if. It if it's neutral earth power, it is still going to do a button to a Mamoswine and like in any way, if you see a Weewile or a Mamoswine, why would you stay in and just sack this brutal brutal monster off? Like you wouldn't. There's no reason. So anyways, I'm just gonna run through some calcs uh, that I think are a bit surprising. A Landris eye that is invested that is that isn't invested in attack at all, like zero investments. With a knockoff that isn't stab, it KOs Eladios after Stealth Rocks. A hundred percent of the time. A hundred percent of the time. It does eighty percent to a Mega Venusaur. With a psychic of course, but and like <laughs> let's not even start talking about Heatran because that Earth Power that has got to do like, like a thousand percent or something like that. That is just crazy damage. Four times effective, stab, sheer force boosted, life force boosted. Oh my god. Calm down. 
calm down, hold the phone. But yeah, and then again, it does like I think seventy to eighty percent to a an assault vested conkelder. So there's like nothing they can switch into this guy, absolutely nothing, and that is why it should be banned. Like I see no reason not to ban it. Some of you might think that they should have banned Landers T instead. Like I've heard this debate that they should have banned Landers T instead. Like Landers I isn't too powerful, but I don't think so because Landers T it's often like yeah you can run Choice Scarf, you can run a defensive tank, you can run uh, sub Salak with Sword Stance. Like sure it's got a lot of variety. I'll give him that, but then again you can very very often judge by their. By just looking at the team, if it's a scarfed one, if it's a defensive one, or if it's a like, it's kind of hard to see if it's a sub salak. But the mo the most uh, commonly ones are defensive or choice scarfed ones, and you can very often just look at their team and say, "Yeah, that's a defensive one," or "Yeah, that's a choice scarfed one," and that is why I don't think they should ban Landris T. As for my favorite set of Landris Incarnate. I definitely think it's just this basic one that I have on your screen now. It is a a specially offensive, but it is running the knockoff for Ladias and Ladios. And I definitely think that is the most viable one. I don't like running Focus Blast. I know Focus Blast is a good move, but I just hate missing it. And Sludge Wave does a lot to like everything, even though it's not stab or anything like that, but it covers a lot of the meta like Assumerils and yeah like every fairy type. So this is definitely my favorite set but Rock Polish is definitely, th that is a lot of fun, that is very fun to use like they try to bring in a Charizard Y on a Earth Power just Rock Slide him, just Rock Slide him and he's gone. So yeah this is definitely my favorite set though it is the simplest to use, but I guess I won't use it as much now, just because I don't play Ubers. If you would have asked me back in X and Y if I thought that Landorus I should be banned, I would have definitely said no, just for the simple fact that Greninja was a thing back then, and we all know that Greninja is Ubers now. And yeah, Greninja had several ways to one it KO this this thing, namely Ice Beam, Ice Punch, and Skull, but. Yeah, maybe not Ice Punch, because Physical Greninja wasn't too viable then back then, just because it didn't get access to Gunk Shot. But anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling about Greninja. And yeah, with Greninja gone, it is definitely a, it definitely has a lot of fun with OU. It just straight up laughs at OU like it's nothing. All these special defensive mods like Kong, Heatran, they're nothing to this guy. He just eats them for dinner, or breakfast, or supper. Wait, supper is the same as dinner. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that is going to round off this video. And if you guys have any opinions of your own, make sure you leave them in the comment section below because I would love to hear them and have a little discussion with you because I'm pretty clear with what I think I believe. So anyways, as I said, that is going to round off the video. Thank you guys a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time.